Hey, Greg Valentino here with my boy Joe Pietaro. I, we, you know what? I just want to say something, Joe. Please. You fucking momos out there, you fuckos that want to bust my balls because Kevin LeVron's not going to win the Olympia. You know what? He's our friend. We love Kevin. Kevin used to work for this magazine right here. Yes, he was did. a writer mm -hmm. for this magazine, Muscle Sport Mag. Let me just tell you something. It's about loyalty. Did I think he was really going to win the Olympia? To be honest with you, not really. But I'm going to root for him, and I still, still say to this day, right now, I'm going to say he's Mr. Olympia because what he accomplished, none of those other fucking guys could accomplish. But you guys love the fucking misery. What is it? <laughs> what is it that they, they love the misery, Joe? They love the fact that he's not going to win the Olympia, and they want to throw those barbs. No, I don't feel stupid picking Kevin LeBron for Mr. Olympia. I love every minute of it. And if you don't like it, you're a fucko. Stop fucking around. I tell you one thing though. Go ahead. Kevin LeBron, 52 years old, 13 years away from the game, completely away from the game, completely away from the gym for a, a long stretch of time in that 13 year period. He got up on stage. Of course, listen, he's going to get outsized by some of these other guys, the big Rammies. I mean, Rolly Winkler is fucking massive as well. He he's not really going to win. He's, no, he's not going to win. But LeBron, if there was a Masters Olympia still, he would be perfect for that. Because he does, I mean, I will give so much credit where credit is due. But when you see him up against other people at this stage of the game, it's obvious that if he even gets a top ten, to me that'll be a, a gift. I don't even think he should be, he shouldn't even place. And I'm not knocking the fucking guy. I just think compared to some of these other physiques up on that stage, he's got a long way to go for that. But he should, he should stick to that one and done. He went up there, he didn't, he's not going to embarrass himself by any stretch. It's just... The caliber of the, this is a very deep lineup. It's not as far as greatness and all-time greats are concerned, but for this lineup, anywhere between two and eight, you could pr pretty much throw those names up and you could pick out as many different combinations as you want, and you're just going to have a good argument either way. So, LeBron is in a mix with a lot of very talented bodybuilders, not even second tier. Probably like 1A kind of tears right now. But six months ago, yeah. he was walking around the expos looking like half of you guys out there that are throwing shit at him. Six months ago. Eight months ago. Okay? He, 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 what he has accomplished in, in that small period of time, you got to respect him. Okay? Mm -hmm. What do you, I mean, the man hasn't trained 13 fucking years. And you're going to sit here and like get on his misery? Ha ha ha! What are you going to say, Valentino? He's not going to win. Ha ha! Don't you feel stupid? No, I don't feel stupid. He's my friend. Loyalty means... I, Kevin LaRone is more of a fucking man than half those fucking guys up there. If you guys only knew. Let me just tell you that, okay? And as far as I'm concerned, he's a Mr. Olympia. For what he's accomplished in that amount of time, again, six months ago, he looked like you. Okay? Could you stand on the Olympia? Stop fucking around. Listen, Stop. we'll see. I mean, prejudging is prejudging. We pretty much know, you know, what's going to oh, yeah. happen. You can tell by the way they were breaking down the guys with the call outs and who they were putting next to each other. But tonight's the finals at the Olympia in Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll find out what's going to happen. Hopefully, Lavone. Listen, it is what it is. I'm going to tell you something. In my opinion, it's between, uh, uh, right? You want to know the real truth? It's between Sean Roden. And, uh, and and Phil Heath, okay? I forgot Dex. I'm Dex sure look good, too. Dex look good, but I don't think he's up there with that. But I'm going to tell you something. Everybody, it's a big Rammy, the big Rammy. Let me tell about the big Rammy. Yeah. Fucking big hamstrings. I mean, well, sorry, I fucked it up. Big, big, quads. big quads, no hamstrings. See them from the side when they're like that? Those quads are like this on the side. M-I-A. Where's <laughs> the fucking calves? Where it shoot him for stick some fucking central or do something in there. But come on, bro. You're getting up to with thighs this big and a fucking, you, you know, like a stick. Dude, I'm sorry. I don't see it. You know what I mean? I know some of you guys are like, fuck you. I don't you know. But hey, listen. I'm telling it like it is. And LeBron's my boy. I look out for my boys. Big difference, Rami. I thought looked bigger and better the past few years than he does this year. I think he tried to come in more conditioned, more streamlined. That's not his game. He's a big mass monster. And that type of physique is probably not a Mr. Olympia winning physique. But that's what he has. And I if think he, he got his shit together, mate, but he's got to get his hamstrings up. He's got yeah. no fucking calves. When you have thighs that are that big, his thighs are fucking humongous. Humongous. The quads. 
What like, do you mean? How big are they? They're humongous. <laughs> I'm fucking around. Come on, stop breaking my fucking balls, you guys. We'll see Holy what happens. Christ. The finals, Mr. Olympia, coming up tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern time for uh, schmucks like us that didn't fly out there to have to watch it on Amazon. I ain't um, watching shit. I'm gonna watch it. The only thing I'm going on Amazon. I want to see Nicole. I'm gonna get my girlfriend a fucking strap on. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding around. Hey, come on. Anyway, stop being a fucko, okay? Go to Muscle Sport Mag. Kevin Lavone was once all right, and maybe we'll take him away from Blackman again. Check us out at the Greg and Joe Show. Monday, we'll have a full Olympia wrap up. Have a good weekend, guys. Fuck off.